Mr. Atler or the Eagle was the first modern locomotive to operate in what is today Germany. Two Blenkinsopp & Murray type rack locomotives had been built in Berlin, one in 1815 or 1816 and the second in 1817 for working at coal mines, but none of them were a conspicuous success. De Atzler and its sister locomotive De Feuer were ordered for the Bayerische Ludwigsbahn, which operated a six and a half kilometer line between Nuremberg and Firth, the line being worked by both horses and locomotives. The first expression of interest in locomotives was made in 1833, with Robert Stevenson of Newcastle and Braithwaite and Ericsson of London being approached to supply them. Another approach was also made to John Cockerill of Belgium, but he had not yet started building locomotives on his own account. The locomotives were to be capable of moving a load of 10 metric tons between Nuremberg and Firth in a time of 10 minutes. Fortuitously, Robert Stevenson was then in Belgium, and representatives from the Ludwigsbahn went to visit. Stevenson quoted to build a six-wheel locomotive weighing not more than six metric tons for a maximum price of 800 pounds sterling. Because of the very lightweight track in use, the maximum axle load was specified as only three and a half metric tons a ton lighter than that on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway in Britain. Therefore, to overcome this, Stevenson supplied a small planet-type locomotive fitted with a third axle in order to reduce the axle load. The completed locomotive was in fact heavier than specified, weighing 6.7 metric tonnes. So Adler was ordered in May 1835 and was to be completed in July, but this proved to be far too optimistic, and instead the locomotive was completed on the 3rd of September 1835 and reached Nuremberg on the 26th of October, accompanied by William Wilson, an employee of Robert Stevenson & Company, who was to superintend the re-erection of the dismantled locomotive and was to be its first driver. The locomotive was supplied in the then standard Stevenson house livery of overall dark green with black lining, but the 1935 built replica of the Adler was painted with the bright red frame, traditional to Deutsche Bahn. The Adler was first tested in steam on the 16th of November 1835, and the first public run was made on the 7th of December 1835 with 200 guests of honour on board nine carriages, making the journey in only nine minutes. Public service began the following day on the 8th of December. At first, only the passenger service was steam powered, but in 1839 the first goods were carried. De Atzler had a working life of around 22 years, being withdrawn and used as a stationary boiler before being finally withdrawn in 1855. Her sister, De Feuer, had been sold two years earlier in 1853. De Atzler was sold for scrap with its tender but minus its wheels and many fittings in 1857. It's worth noting that the Atler was absolutely tiny and it's not really a patentee type despite having six wheels. The Adler is even smaller than a planet type locomotive with a boiler barrel only 71 centimeters in diameter and 1.9 meters long. The cylinders had a bore of 22.9 centimetres and a stroke of 40.6 centimetres, or 9 by 16 inches in old money. Boiler pressure was 3.3 bar, or around 50 psi. The wheels were of Stevenson patent gas pipe type, despite assertions being made on, for example, Wikipedia, that the locomotive had cast iron wheels or that the hollow iron spokes had a wooden core, this is simply not true. Stevenson's gas pipe wheels had hollow tubular wrought iron spokes, with the hub and rim being cast around them in situ in the casting box, 
Robert Stevenson hoped that the molten cast iron would form a weld with the wrought iron spokes, but in fact the reverse happened. The cold spokes caused the hot cast iron to chill and case harden, leading to a very poor joint. Suffice to say, the Stevenson gas pipe wheel was not successful, either in Britain or where it had been exported, and were replaced by entirely hand-forged wheels. The 1935 replica of the Adler, like the 1992 replica of Planet, uses cast steel wheels. As Dr. Michael Bailey indicates, the 1935 built replica of the Adler has several errors from the original, notably the valve gear. The 1835 general arrangement drawing, whilst showing the locomotive and its dimensions, has no details for the valve gear, and the German engineers took a 1935 approach to the solution rather than an 1830s one. The valve gear should be like that on planet. The valve gear of the replica is entirely speculative and completely uncharacteristic of Stevenson practice of the 1830s. In 2005, the Nuremberg Museum, where the operable replica of the Adler was housed, was almost entirely destroyed in a catastrophic fire. The replica locomotive was very badly damaged, but Deutsche Bahn agreed to build a new operable replica, utilising as much of the 1935 as possible. Fortunately, the boiler was intact and could be reused. The opportunity was taken to carry out detailed research into the locomotive, and in particular its components and operation, to correct some of the errors from 1935. The new replica locomotive was completed in 2007 and is regularly in steam. A second albeit static replica of the Atler exists, which was built in 1952, using the same technical drawings as the replica built in 1935, and therefore also incorporates many of the same problems of accuracy and authenticity. I hope you have enjoyed this quick look at the Atler, the first modern locomotive to operate in Germany. And if you have, please leave a comment below as well as like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell. If you would like early access to Rail Story content, you can do so through supporting the channel on Patreon and Ko-fi. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.